Put the content in there and try to push the emotion. You know, this really matters, you guys. This is this is sort of the teenage goth poet idea. So, oh, she left me, and I feel like black lakes with the rain on my window. Anybody who rhyme, who rhymes pain with rain, basically, is going to take this. Or heart and from the start, I look at you with temptation. Um, will be we have this problem because it is you cannot get people to end to empathise because you're keeping the original narrative, the original inspiration for that song too much in it. So next we go down, this is where things get good, this is the best, this is the second level. So this, what, the second level of detachment is where you cut the original content of the song out completely. You remove the subject matter, or if it is in there, it's incidental. This is where the best lyrics lie. This is where, because the original content is keeping the back seats to the emotion and the imagery that is created by what you have discussed. And this, this is where it gets very, this is where it gets good, this is where it gets effective because you are talking to somebody's raw emotions. So, how do we do that? Which is, a, is the question I guess you're asking right now. How, how is that possible? Well, for instance, let's, let's say that you were dumped. That's something that people write a lot of songs about, far too many songs about. But let's say, you know, direct lyrics. So that'd be something like, Jane left me and I feel like crap. I can't eat or bathe or take a nap. You know, it's just saying what's happened. And, but, for a punk song, that would sort of work, wouldn't it? But for anything else, it sounds daft, you don't care. And so she's gone and I'm lost like a... So the first level then, you say what's happened and you say how you feel about it. So she's gone and I'm lost like a bird in the frost. Something like that. Because you're saying what has happened and the emotions that come from it. And it just makes you look desperate. And because there's still no reason for you to care. So it's gone from, a, it's not a transmission of emotion, it's just someone up there making a fool of themselves and you still don't care about what has happened. But what, so you need to think now about images and what is it that is going to actually make the audience feel the way you feel about whatever the subject matter of the song is. And this is where, you, remember, you're breaking the narrative now, you're not telling the story anymore. You are presenting a series of images, little snippets, little ideas, because the more you get your audience's imagination to work, the more it's going to have an effect on them. For instance, I don't know who, if people here are into, say, horror films, but those, most people that are into horror films say that it is much, much better if you don't see the creature. And that's, and that's why a lot of low budget horror movies end up being actually much scarier than high budget horror movies because you don't see the monster. Because if they show you a monster, you're only going to be as scared as you are of that monster. But if you don't see the monster, you imagine what that monster looks like and you imagine whatever it is you're scared of. And all of a sudden, because it's your imagination has been fired, because human beings this is something you can use to your advantage in many ways, but human beings are amazingly self-obsessed. The human brain loves itself. We like to think about ourselves. And the way to get someone to care about what you care about is to get them imagining that happening to them. Because no matter what happens to you, they're not going to care. But if they think it's happening to themselves, then suddenly, bang, the emotions kick in. And they would say, oh, wow, what if I was in that situation? Because people are jerks like that. Well, that would be really bad if I felt that. Oh, I feel so sad. <laughs> but that is how people are. That, that's how the human brain works. So we love, love to think about ourselves. So if you cut out the story and just have the images, don't give them enough. If you give them the full narrative of the story, then they'll just watch it like they're watching TV. But if you give them the snippets, those images, those little ideas, that's not quite enough for them to form a full idea around, their brain will fill in the blanks. And they will fill in the blanks putting themselves, or people they care about, at the centre of that narrative. And that is the key. So, 
if you're going to go about being dumb, so instead of she's gone and I'm sad, it should be something like, you know, um, the empty bed, the passion gone, just useless words, a lonely song. Right? Now you're thinking of an empty bed. Whose? Well, not his, yours. You don't need to say, my bed is empty. No, just said the, the bed lies empty. And all of a sudden, because you've not told, you've not led them by the hand into that, into that situation, they're applying it to them, you know, just useless words. Oh, what about time when my words were useless? What about time when my son was lonely? Well, you know, oh, well, they, will, they will apply it to themselves. And they will suddenly start thinking about times that they were in situation. And that is where you then have achieved that emotional conduit from your subject matter through the song to the audience. So, the third level, we have imagery only 